How you doing guys? Corey Winkoff here, Program Director of FLG. Eric Dunn, also Program Director here at FLG. Today we're going to talk to you a little bit about two of our offenses that kind of go hand in hand. Ivy, which is our invert offense, and Notorious, which utilizes big little pick from behind the goal. Alright, so we're going to start with Ivy right here on the left side. The first thing that we're going to talk about and Eric's going to draw for us is getting into Ivy. So we're going to start right there with the ball up top with, uh, with our midfield. Okay, we're here we're in our base one through two set, alright? There are a couple different ways to get into it. You don't necessarily have to carry. As a matter of fact, I prefer that you don't, but especially at the youth level, sometimes it's just easier for a short stick if, you have, if you're playing against poles that are very, uh, very aggressive and they're not really letting you get into your sets. This is how we want to get into it from our 1-3-2 set. So as this midi begins to carry wide down the, down the alley, okay, it's very important that this attackman gets through and low all the way into the crease, and then he's going to come out behind them as he carries the X here. Okay? This movement right here, guys, like Eric said, is not only important to get nice and low and through, it's got to be at full speed. It can't be a jog. You can't be giving an opportunity for your defenseman to switch off on that midfielder creating a matchup that isn't really favorable for us, especially because we're trying to get into our invert. Okay, this attack guy, all right, he's going to rotate into the mirror spot, okay, with his toes on the paint. Our midi in the crease is going to climb a little bit higher, okay, the attack guy opposite is going to climb, okay, so now we wind up with our midi behind the goal with the ball, okay, our attack guy in the high wing, and this midi, he's going to rotate over here to the high center, okay. And he's going to kind of be in our skip spot. Very important for a lot of our guys. All right. One thing we notice a lot, okay, is that you feel this knee that you have to dodge directly from X. An invert is simply taking a short stick behind the goal because it puts a lot of pressure on the defense to have to slide and gives you a good view of the offense. Whether you want to attack from the corners, directly from X, opposite corner, that's really the Dodgers' choice. But it's really, really important that we utilize this advantage to our, uh, to our benefit. We want to make sure that we draw some sort of slide in this situation. We're not just carrying back here, dodging halfway, and then kind of moving the ball up top. All right? So, our midi here is going to pick a side, and he's going to dodge. Okay? He beats his guy. This guy in the mirror, he's going to check to the back pipe. Okay? And we draw in our defensive guys now. I'll put a little dots here as our D guys. The attack guy on the dodge side, he's got to climb a little bit, okay, to give himself, to give his guy dodging some space, okay? Now, this mirror guy, very, 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 very important that we don't try and throw this pass too often, especially at the higher levels. This gets picked off a lot. It's a very hard pass to hook up, okay? That is really, if they slide from this mirror guy, we'd be more looking to roll back, and throw opposite. So it's really important that he gets there early. We catch this, and now we'd be driving opposite. Okay? Uh, really good defensive teams probably shouldn't be coming off the mirror guy. All right, so as we drive, this guy's still going to go back pipe, and he's also got backup responsibility on any sort of shot. Okay? So we've got the climb on the ball side. Okay? Our mini up top, he can kind of float into a skip spot all the way over the top. And now what we're going to do is our midfielder who's in the crease, the guy who had the long ball, he's going to come and set a simple off-ball screen for our backside wing attackman, okay, who's going to come off this cut. Okay. He probably doesn't want to cut to the back pipe. We've already got somebody there. So you may flash a little bit to this back shooter wing. Okay. The idea is, fellas, we want to have our lefty cutter here as an attackman and our righty cutter here. Okay. So we want this to be our right-handed attackman and our left-handed attackman, which in our 1-3-2 generally works out. It's also really important here, guys, that this midfielder, whoever's inverting at X, dodges to score. That's your first and primary goal, right? We like to say get to your strong hand if possible. So if this guy back here is a righty, then you should be able to get to your right hand. But like Eric said, it doesn't mean you have to go to your right hand or the right side. It doesn't mean you have to dodge from directly at X. It just means that if, you, if, if the rest of the guys on your team know that you're a righty and you're getting to your right hand, it makes their movements a little bit more predictable they can then set up their cuts and they can get there a little bit quicker because they know exactly what side of the field you're going to go to. Uh, one other point I want to make here is as you drive up field looking to hopefully turn the corner and score or draw a slide, if you are going to throw that cross crease pass, which is a tough one, you've got to get at least above goal line extended. You can't be throwing that 
while you're still below goal line, giving an opportunity for maybe the goalie to pick it off or have you hit the back of the cage. Okay. And again, on the timing stuff, middies, all right, I know we're telling you to beat your guy, okay, but one or two moves, okay? Remember, this is a timing play, so take your guy to whichever way you want to go, but make one or two clearly defined moves. Don't do what we call dodging in a phone booth, where you're, you're going dodging back and forth in a two or three yard area and not really ever getting your defender up to full speed, okay? So again, we should be able to balance up out of that. If we go the other way, all right, we've got our midi in here. We've got our attack guy in the mirror. Okay, maybe this guy's a lefty. All right, attack left. We're driving, we're mirroring, climbing, we're picking, okay, for the backside wing, and then this guy would cut front side. Let's make sure that if you're the point mini, yeah, one of your responsibilities is getting the hole if we lose the ball. You still want to step to a spot on the field where if you catch this skip pass right over the top, you can crow hop right into a shot at hopefully between 11 and 13 yards. So you don't want to be 20, 25 yards away from goal line extended. You want to be at about 15 to 17. So that way when you catch that ball, you have enough time to read the defense or at least give yourself time to crow hop into a shot and get a good one off right on cage. Okay, and that's our Ivy offense. The next stop.